Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Sorry for the delay. I've been under the weather the last several days, and I'm just now getting back on my feet. <laughs> you might be able to hear it in my voice. On track to 20k. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's do it. Our first one is from Yanage Damage, titled Thanks. Daughter's crying. Looking for a free sofa with delivery in LS28 Barley. Hello all, I'm looking for a sofa free with delivery as I was supposed to get a small corner sofa delivered today. However, the man and van couldn't get it up the stairs and through the front door of my small flat, but they still charged me even though I didn't get the sofa. Now I don't have any furniture, and I'm very upset and heartbroken, and I have a five-year-old too. I don't want leather if possible. Thanks for reading, Kathy. If they still charged you even though the service wasn't provided, I would definitely look into that and get my money back. Outside of that, I mean having a five-year-old doesn't entitle you to getting free furniture. This next one is by Tin is the Man, titled Choosing Beggar at Giveaway. Rolls eyes, so you didn't check out my GoFundMe page and have mercy on my plight and choose me for the $2,000 prize Wednesday? Do everyone need to have 5,200 chances checked off in order to win? I mean, they'd probably rather have 5,200 chances than a single chance because that's 5,199 more chances than a single chance. This next one is from Zyko13 titled, Please donate a venue for my graduation, even though you've probably had zero business for over a year. Reposting as the request is slightly changed. I shared before that my graduation will be virtual on here. Okay, I'm looking for a venue here, or here, so I can celebrate getting my here with my friends and family. Praying COVID doesn't say otherwise. <laughs> that day, if you have a venue you would be willing to bless me with, <laughs> pro bono, fancy word, for free, <laughs> please direct message me. I guarantee you, my village will make your donation to me worth it. Think of it as a free promo for your venue space. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get free, but congrats on your graduation. This next one is by Esme Weatherwaxes, titled, Posted by a Small Brewery Taking a Stand. This is not as much choosing as just outright begging, really, but I thought you'd appreciate it all the same. First one of the day, we're passionate about making beer and having money to live not giving it away, and no, it's not okay. I would love to review your unique drinks. Do you have any samples I could review for you? I don't ask for any money, but I only ask for a sample to keep my page going as long as I can, as I am passionate. Hope that is okay. I've said it before, asking for things is fine. It may be annoying, but it's perfectly fine. But thinking you're gonna get something for free just because you ask? That's another story. This next one is from Serial Batman, titled Choosing Beggar Leveraging Terminal Illness Because They Can't Cough Up $11 for Two Lip Glosses. Would love this. They smell wonderful. Would love to have this, but I'm battling stage 4 lymphoma cancer and trying hard to make myself feel better, but I'm just very embarrassed and struggling financially. Would you please, please, please accept any less? Explain to me, beggar, why they would accept any less when it's $11. Do you really need the lip gloss that badly? And if your story is true, I'm sorry to hear that, but based on the tales that beggars tell, <laughs> I don't believe it. This next one is by Books and Business, titled Choosing Beggar Hosts an Art Competition. If you win, you get to give up all your rights and earn 10% of the revenue. More than the initial offer of 10% off the project. Hello, I am looking for artists who can design a comic for my clothing line. Task description. Create a comic ideally one to four scenes. If you prefer, you may have more scenes. Comics should make a joke about entrepreneurs. 
I have attached an example in this post to help you visualize the task. Reward for the chosen designs. Yeah, I have updated the reward. Recognition will be given to you in the description of the product. And if you had like, I can add a link of your choosing or your contact details or both in the description. The chosen design will get 10% revenue from the sales of products that use the design. Everyone can participate in this. However, only the chosen designs will be rewarded. I would also like to inform that there are no limits as to how many winners there are. If I like your design, you win and get the rewards. If you are interested in this task, please let me know or send me your comic straight away. If your comic is chosen, I get the commercial rights for the comic in return for the rewards. Kind regards, Super Beggar. It's not a good deal for the artist and I really hope nobody does it. You're wanting commercial rights for their art to give them shitty rewards? Wow. I'd love to say I'm shocked, but I'm not. This next one is from Terror Chief 2008 titled, Yes, I will surely put all of my free time into making a living so I can get a shout out on your Instagram with four followers. Making libraries for X-Plane 11 is very hard. Hey there. I'm looking for someone who can make a library for my 737-100. It can be a simple library. Example, some stripes on the tail. I will not be paying, but I will give you a shout out when the aircraft is released. If you are interested, please DM me. Beggar, why don't you learn how to make libraries yourself and then go and make your own? Oh <laughs> wait, that's right, because it requires work and that's something you beggars don't like to do. This next one is from Letty Fido Thrine titled Self-Published Author Here. Not a lot of money to spend. This person wants a free copy of my book to review, but I said I could send a free PDF copy. Here was their response. It just infuriates me that people want free stuff without knowing the work that goes behind it. Hey, would you like to collaborate? Hello, how are you? In what way would you like to collaborate? Fine, thanks. If you want to send me your book and I will talk about it on my page. Do you think you could fill out the form registering to be a reviewer in order to get a free PDF copy? Thank you. Only physical release, please. I'm sorry, but I do not have money to spend like that. I do have the PDF copy to offer, but I cannot spend money I don't have. Leave it to beggars, able to get something for free, but that free isn't good enough. They just want more. <laughs> well, I don't think this beggar ended up getting even the PDF. This next one is by AJ Mraz 82 titled 1K for an SUV. Good luck with that one, buddy. I'm not selling anything, but I'm looking to buy a used SUV. I prefer Ford Explorer, but I'm open to Chevy Blazer or other. Must run and drive no mechanical problems, and have current tags and inspection. Clean title a must, and no salvage or rebuild title. I have $1,000 cash in hand, and have no interest in a dealership deal. No dealerships. Let me see what you got. I'm motivated to buy today. $1,000 is going to get you a broken down SUV or one that's on the way out. This next one is from Ryze, titled, Well, alright then. Are you still selling your Xbox One? Yes, it's still available. How many games are included? It's an extra $50 for the 10 games I have listed on the ad. We only have $200. Can you just throw in the games as courtesy? No, I'm sorry. It's $250 for everything. Is your cat worth $50? Excuse me? They searched your profile and you have a cat. Give me the games or I'll staple your cat to a tree. Well, this beggar's definitely going to the extremes over free games, threatening to staple their cat to a tree, so they're admitting that they happily commit animal cruelty and are a piece of crap. And our final one is by Stoic Thunder, titled Heavy Discount on a Costume. I used to work for a small costume hire business. It's not something you get into to make tons of money, but it's fun and rewarding. We would get asked time to time to hire at a discounted rate or free for genuine charities. We couldn't do it for everyone, of course, but we tried our best. One day, I get a call asking for an Alice in Wonderland costume. With hiring, you get everything. The wig, the shoes, 
any jewelry or hats, and petticoats. The lady explained that she had been chosen to appear on the Come Dine With Me show and that she had an Alice theme. She'd gotten all the decorations, planned her menu around it, etc. I tell her the price and she says, Oh no, I can't afford that. Can you do it any cheaper? That's our standard rate. You can pick it up a day earlier if that's easier for you. Oh no, see, I'm on benefits and that's just too much. I need it. I'm the hostess. I'm sorry, but that's our pricing. Things up. Why do people come to you, a place of business and commerce, and make their financial issues your problem? If it had been a genuine request from a charity or something, but she admitted to having very little money and then putting together this shindig so she could be on TV? Bizarre. You ask the question I think most businesses that encounter choosing beggars ask themselves, why do they feel that making their financial issues should be a pity or a problem for your business? Quite frankly, it's a personal problem and they just don't realize that yet. For some reason, they think spinning that story will get them free when in reality, it usually gets them on Reddit. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell. It really helps my channel with the algorithm. And drop a comment down below. That also helps. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.